we find ourselves today at the final bout of round two. A battle that will decide who moves on to the final round of Splatterface. And more importantly, it's a battle that will determine whether or not I stick around any longer. Like, for real now. Look at them down there. Little jackasses. In the one corner we can see them. A pair of just the worst little bastards I've ever seen. Two dark gnomes who have certainly darkened my life. The Dirty Boys. And over across the way we can see the screeching blur wielding a deadly bronze spear. The new mascot for Melville's delicious monarch butterfly brains. It's the Batwoman shrieking sounds. <sighs> Look at those little freaks. We shook them out of their alcohol coma a while ago, and now they seem relatively ready to fight. We also made sure to tell them that there'd be no more booze until after this fight. That got them wild up pretty good, gotta say. Remember, in the first round they took out Tom the Satyr, and I'm fairly certain they just got really lucky. They're puny, look at them. Ugh, disgusting. That being said, they both do have shields, which might end up saving their filthy rumps, but... I really hope not. Oh, and there we can hear shrieking sounds down there, doing what she does best. Shrieking. She seems ready to go. Now remember, in the first round, she was able to absolutely slaughter Angrier, the Alligator Man, a combatant many had their hopes riding on. I'd like to think she stands a good chance against the little blue bastards down there, but I'm not getting my hopes up again. We'll have to see. Really hoping she does well. Well, what do you say? I think it's time to get this show on the road. Let the third bout of round two commence. There they go. Shrieking takes flight, and they meet. The Dark Gnome's hopping wildly, trying to hit the bat. They're blocking that deadly spear disturbingly well. Shrieking charges, pushing a gnome back. Regrouping, Shrieking slaps the hammer away from one of the gnomes, Ooh, destroying its hand. She turns, charging down the other. Bam! Ooh! Both arms! Stab and a stab and a stab and that gnome is gone! Just like that, the other gnome came up behind, but it looks like she was ready. More than ready, actually. Oh dear me, that might be, yeah, yeah, that was it. That was very quick. Huh, well, I guess I was hoping they'd put up a little more of a fight. Oh well, who could complain? Let's get that seemingly pointless timer started up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem at all. And there we have it. Certainly an anticlimactic battle. Shrieking Sounds is the winner by an absolute landslide, too. The little blue monsters did not have a chance to stand. And having now won two rounds in violently explosive fashion, it's starting to look like the Batwoman might take you all in the final round. Such skill. It's frightening, really. In addition, it looks like she's chosen a prize... She's picked up a shield. Uh, might have to change the rules a little bit there, I'm thinking. I'm gonna tell you what. We're gonna have an impromptu meeting behind the scenes, just to figure out what we're going to do in the last round. We'll be sure to update you shortly. Once again, Shrieking, good show out there. Looking out into the audience, we can see Shrieking's relative. Hoping they enjoy the performance. Must be damn proud. I certainly would be. Good job once again, Shrieking Sounds. And as for those nasty little gnomes, our staff can finally breathe a sigh of relief. You know, I'm surprised they managed to get past the first round, really. <sighs> I, I guess they deserve a modicum of respect. We've got to honor our fallen gladiators, whether we like it or not. Mixed emotions here, to be sure. Now, before we wrap things up, we'll do a quick review of the coming bout, the final bout, that is. Very exciting. We are on the cusp of greatness here, dwarves. In the final bout, the combatants will be fighting in the Grand Arena, the heart of Splatterface itself. A special theater reserved for only the most glorious of showdowns. Combatants will be placed at random in each of the three corners, and that includes the unlucky southwest corner. No worries though, I assure you. There is nothing but good luck in this pit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright, we're getting word here about the details of the final round, and it's very interesting. Hmm. Now, of course, in the final round, we have three combatants. Kulak, the Eye Eye Man, wielding an iron longsword and armored with bronze shield, golden mask, and leather gloves. The two remaining battle beetles, armed with three whips and armored with a bronze buckler and helm. 
and shrieking sounds. The Batwoman, armed with her bronze spear and armored with bronze helm, gauntlets, low boots, and a woolen cloak. That's right, she's not going to receive the shield as a prize, which I know is a little upsetting, but she's obviously very highly skilled and it's doubtless she'll need it anyways. We gotta keep things interesting here, you know. Sorry, Shrieking. On top of that, looks like we're going to throw out a vote to our fair audience. We would like to throw an obstacle into the mix, just to shake things up a bit more. And now is the time to vote for what you would like to see. Our options are five great horned owls, three mandrills, two pigs, or a walrus. The option chosen will be placed directly in the center of the arena, and of course will not be on any one combatant's team. They'll just kind of bumble around randomly attacking people. Any of them would be interesting to see tossed into the mix, but we're also putting in the option of not adding anything at all. The choice is yours, my beautiful bastards. Interested to see what you go with. Also, if you have any other interesting ideas of something we can add to the arena, we would love to hear it, that's for sure. So now is the time to shout, my beautiful bastards. These gladiators fight for you. Once again, we have reached the final championship round of Splatterface. About between the masked swordsman Kulak and his vile magics, the remaining two battle beetles hungry for vengeance, and the terrifyingly adept Batwoman, known as Shrieking Sounds. This is it, folks. The end of Splatterface. Our first champion is soon to be crowned.